He is one of America's greatest entrepreneurs and is well known for his tagline, I guarantee it. Enjoy this episode of Being the Difference as we talk with George Zimmer of the Men's Warehouse about his success story and about the importance of philanthropy. Hello, good afternoon, George. Hi. So how did you get started with the Men's Warehouse and where has it come? Well, uh... 1973, Houston, Texas, uh, I decided to open up a men's clothing store primarily because I wanted to be my own boss. I figured if I was going to work 50, 60 hours a week, I'd like to follow my own dream. And so I came up with the name Men's Warehouse, painted it on some plywood and put it up on a storefront and went into business. What are you doing in terms of philanthropy and why do you value philanthropy so much? Well, I think that like most things, we, we value what we saw modeled as children and I came from a philanthropic family. My mother, my father, and my grandparents were all active in their communities. And so it seemed like what you were supposed to do, if you were fortunate enough to be successful, you were expected to give back, to leave the world better than the way you found it when you arrived. And, uh, uh, you know, I, by the way, have a, a strong economic feeling about this, which was my degree, which is the uh, infrastructure, which is America, including the ability of the population of the country to double in my lifetime from about 150 million to about 300 million with the rule of law and the airports and, and, and the interstate highways and the stable dollar. All of these things have enabled me to prosper and the company to uh, prosper. And so giving back as a form of philanthropy seems uh, like something that should be done and I should pay, and that's why the wealthy should pay more taxes as well. Well, uh, Dr. Deepak Chopra is on our board of directors. And many years ago, one of his early books, he's written about 60, but one of the early books was called The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. And it's about 100 pages long, back in the day before publishers required 300 pages. And, 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 and one of the seven laws was the law of circulation. And basically it was, for to those that have been blessed with a lot, circulate it around, give a lot, be generous. And, and I've always taken that to heart. Uh, in terms of what, what I'm currently involved in, I'm on a couple of nonprofit boards, the uh, Oakland uh, Zoo, uh, the Oakland Boys and Girls Club, and the Institute of Noetic Sciences, uh, which studies consciousness. So I'm involved in, 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 in sort of formal uh, philanthropy that way. But Sean, if I were to tell you that not a day goes by, not a single day, where I don't get a request or, or more for philanthropy. So there are hundreds of organizations that we make contributions to. That's very good. Thank you for helping the community so much in America. Um, so what advice would you give to young entrepreneurs who want to start their business and be successful just as you have? Well, here would be my advice. You've heard follow your passion. Of course, uh, some might say follow your dharma, which is purpose in life, but they're very similar. The reason why that's important is that number one, you'll do your best work there because of the link. Number two, uh, you're likely going to get the best money because you're doing your best work. But even if that doesn't occur, uh, then you won't be as disappointed because you still will have been enjoying what you've been doing uh, most of the time. So that's really the most important thing. And then I would say start it before you start a family. So thank you so much for being here with us today and um, you're truly an inspirational man to all of us. It's a pleasure, Sean. Good luck.